Hello, it's Carl, and this video is all about Thorpe Ness. Um, it's literally about five minutes north of Aldborough, uh, but Thorpe Ness is a, a little less known. Uh, so this is the road between Aldborough and Thorpe Ness, and this is Thorpe Ness itself. As you can see, I took Drony McDrone face with me. So this is the mere. This is what it's known for, where all the kayaks are. There's a tea room behind it, and then you've got a there's a, a restaurant cafe over the road, and then as you can see very near the beach and uh, off to the right in the background was Aldra. Um but this is a huge lake uh, as you can see panning around here there's uh, a couple of islands here as well not that you can or are supposed to get out but I guess there's nothing stopping you so this is Thorpe Ness Mere I haven't been on there for quite a, a number of years, but there always used to be a, a full-sized um, alligator or crocodile on one of the islands just staring at you. Um, as you can see, you have the obligatory sign here explaining what the mirror is all about, and now we're down on the ground. So just next to the mirror is this uh, gorgeous little duck pond, and then off to the left there is the Thorpe Ness Emporium and the Thorpe Ness Kitchen. And then as I pan around here, this is the tea rooms coming into view. It's always struck me as odd, there's a house right next to the tea rooms. I don't know if it's anything to do with it, but I wouldn't want to live there because this just gets busy with tourists all the time. But it's a very lovely place. Anyway, don't know why I decided to overshare with you. There's the bins. The bins are nice. Um, but anyway, well, the bins are necessary, obviously. I could have cut the bins out, I suppose, but I didn't. Anyway, round to the mirror itself, and you have uh, a, a, an array of boats that you can hire from kayaks, canoes, little rowing boats. And as I say, you can uh, wander over to the islands, which are over in the, in the distance there, sort of in the middle distance and hopefully not get attacked by the enormous uh, crocodile. This thing's about like eight, eight feet long or something. Um, it's quite scary the first time you ever see it. Anyway, uh, so here we are on the mirror. As you can see, it's a bit of a grey day. But, um, anyway, it's still very lovely whenever you go. Now, I remember reading somewhere that the uh, the mirror itself is about, it covers about 60 acres. So I did say it with you. Um, but it's only about three foot deep or something. Um, but anyway, on to scones and jam and cream, because here we have, coming up on the left, the tea room. Uh, Thorpe Ness is quite an interesting place because it was, um, it was apparently a, a originally uh, designed as a, a, a holiday village. Um, now, Lots and lots of people live there, so it's not actually a holiday village, but it's definitely got a holiday vibe around it, um, obviously, because there's a large ice cream there and a walls bin. Anyway, so that's the tea rooms. Across the road, you have the Thorpe Ness Emporium, which is a cute little antique shop, and I've bought a number of things um, from here um, for the barns. Uh, the coffee table in the granary, I can remember, uh, came from here. Now, watching this video back, I'm a bit annoyed with myself because you see that little bag on the floor there. It looks like an old doctor's bag or something. Now, I was so busy filming, I didn't notice it because that's the sort of thing I really like. I wish I'd had a look to see how much it is, but it's uh, sort of a leather-trimmed uh, bag of some sort. Don't know what I'd have done with it, but anyway annoyed with myself um, but as you can see it's a, a, a fairly standard antique type shop but the great thing about these sorts of places is you literally never know what you're going to find in there so that's the Thorpe Ness Emporium and it's next to the kitchen which is a, a restaurant and then just behind them is the beach so there's, there's this great boardwalk and it, it sort of reminds me of Amityville from from Jaws um, Although I don't think there are many great whites off the coast of Thorpe Ness. So, anywho, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, despite my ramblings, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also subscribe to our newsletters by going to the homepage of our website, scroll down to the bottom and enter your details. Then I can let you know about cancellations if we have any, any last minute availability if we've got it, competitions and that sort of thing. Follow us on social media as well. Cheers.